Testing, testing. One, two, three. It looks good to me. Here we go. It's so exciting. Hello, good simians. Those are some sharp attaches. Yes, well, we have business to attend to. What kind of business? Monkey business. <laughs> Monkey Jones, how are you doing today? Hey, Florian Nightingale. I'm great. How are you? Oh, yes, I'm amazing. Good. What are we drawing today? Uh, an ape? An ape escape? I'm so glad that you, you liked the emoji movie, Mumpkey. I, 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 I just had <laughs> to draw you as an emoji. Oh, no. There's clearly not enough Mumpkey emojis. And now, and now there's one specifically. And that's true. My Discord is in need of more. Indeed. Can you have custom I know that emojis there? Yeah, my Discord does, but they're mostly just of Psy and oh, not of well, me. Oh, well, you should definitely put this one on then. And if you had... Oh, I think I will. I'm going to right when we finish. Oh, yeah. If you have some kind of Twitch streaming going at any point, that would be great if everyone could spam these. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do Twitch, but if I do, I'll, I'll come to you for all of my, my hot emoji needs. Oh, yeah, so what do you think of the Emoji movie? I know you were also a defender, oh, like yes, I it was. It was amazing, actually. I really enjoyed it. We, yeah. And, uh, me too. We're both big that, fans. And that one time when the, the princess summoned a Twitter bird with a lovely song, it was just so heartwarming. How could people hate this, this <laughs> glorious movie? <laughs> the big reveal that that Jailbreak was actually the missing princess, it was, it was like... It was one of the greatest plot twists I think I've seen in film in the in the last decade. <laughs> it was only so obvious. <laughs> like th I had no way of seeing it coming, and then like <gasps> this this realization that Gene, like this this boring meh emoji, is having a romantic relationship with a fucking oh, princess. Yes. It was really inspiring <laughs> to me. To know oh man, such the, things the high five was so good too. What a what a great character. <laughs> Such a yeah, a nerd who wants to be a party guy, but then he's also really cool in a in another way, which is quite rare because usually the characters in in such movies are just such losers. But he was all right, and then they they had amazing adventures. Do they ever explain why High Five has a band aid on his finger? Well, I'm assuming that's just the the I'm assuming that's just a hat because all the emojis they're they're like classes of emojis, but then they they got unique characteristics because like like hairstyles and hats and such so i'm yeah. I'm assuming it's probably a, a whole clan of high fives but only he is the one who who has that hat yeah are there does high five have parents and if so how did they have sex because they're just hands do they just do hand stuff does he finger her in the <laughs> pinky or something what's going on oh this is the greatest hand job of all time oh, too bad <laughs> we, we wouldn't have seen it <laughs> You know, they never explain, because the the meh emoji Gene is very obviously the son of these other two mehs, but they never explain how he came to be. Like, do they have children, or is he programmed into the phone? And, like, I don't, I need to understand the lore of this world, which is why I'm hoping that they make a whole emoji movie cinematic universe. Oh, I universe. wish. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> I mean, if this movie does well at the box office, which it better, because I'm going to go see it ten times to give him my money. Uh, I'm hoping that they make more. <laughs> yes. I'm hoping for a sequel every year, just like Star Wars. Oh man, yes. What did you think of the the Star Wars prequels? By the way, I'm, I'm a great defender of those as well. I wonder if you share my passion with those. I haven't actually seen them. I just know about the memes. Ah oh, no. Yeah, I'm not They're really the a big Star Wars They're the greatest movies of my childhood. <laughs> I mean, I'm, they probably are. I mean, I I know that if you're a kid, you probably really liked them. Oh yeah, I, I fucking love them. Yeah. I, oh god, the time I was pod racing was great. But anyways, I, I think the emojis they just materialize their sexual organs just like they do their their body parts <laughs> otherwise. So I'm sure he he just created a massive cock and then they they had the wildest orgy ever. Would have been a, a giant um uh eggplant emoji would come out of his <laughs> groin and they would fuck yes. with it. Uh I Isn't think it? that Gene is one of the most underrated heroes of our time because he he created a problem within the Emoji universe and then he's the one who solved it. Whereas people like Donald Trump, 
they make problems all the time, and I don't see him fixing any of those, you know? Like, we need somebody who can make mistakes and then learn from them. We never see that anymore. Oh, no. We need these role models, I, like Gene, and, the emoji. And I, and I just made a video defending Donald Trump against... Dan Harmon from, from Rick and Morty because he had a, a crazy meltdown in his latest podcast. And oh I, I my lost God, several what did he say? Hmm? What did Dan Harmon say? Well, he just basically called Donald Trump a Nazi and he said that a third of the country is Nazis and we must go to war. Oh my I God. Never f- I never figured him to be an Antifa guy. <laughs> I never figured him to be begging for world or civil war number two. That's crazy. It's so crazy. Who the fuck wants to go to war? I know, right? And, and, and Rick, he's such a, such an anti-social justice warrior, really. An yeah. anti-feminist, and he really doesn't give a shit about anything. So I, I just don't get where this is coming from. No. Just out of nowhere. Well, that's too bad. Maybe if he watched the Emoji movie, he could learn a little bit of compassion for his fellow <laughs> man, and he wouldn't be so gung-ho about starting a war. Well, we could all learn something from the Emoji movie. <laughs> yeah. If only Hell we could yeah. all imp- express ourselves properly. <laughs> That's right. It, it gives you the ability to express with pictures, with pictograms, what you never could with words. Oh, yes. Well, can't wait for those real emojis that, that have all the emotions in them from the movie. Yeah, they better be making those. Oh, is that it? Is that the end? Oh, no. I'm just going to Photoshop now for shading. Photoshop? <laughs> what the hell do you have to do in Photoshop? Oh, shading? Well, yeah, shading. It's... Oh, okay. I'm not one of those people who buy GIMP, but yeah, I, I, I draw in Flash. <laughs> I, oh, wait, you don't buy GIMP, you use GIMP, never mind. Now, I'm a suck who bought Photoshop, and I, I also bought Flash, and now I'm drawing in Flash and coloring in Photoshop. It's a very, very amazing process. <laughs> if only there was one... Didn't Hypocrite have some sort of controversy with GIMP lately, or some sort of meme? I don't remember. Yeah, he's he apparently uses GIMP. I don't... Well, I guess I was really young when I tried GIMP and it was shit then. Maybe it's good now. Who could tell? What, is Fo- it just like a free version of Photoshop? Indeed. But Photoshop was always the, the mediocre, expensive thing. And I I guess it's it always stood out with, with being the, least, uh, the most bearable of all the shitty graphics programs. I've not found a single good one yet. It's very odd. Do you think that the Emoji movie was made in GIMP? <laughs> I hope not. I, I hear they had a, a huge budget, so I'm sure they used the finest programs. <laughs> what was the budget? I'm hey, Let's play I, a game. We're both going to guess, and I'm going to look it up, and whoever's closest wins. Oh, I'm sorry. I already looked it up at some oh, point. Oh, fuck you. What <laughs> I, is it? I must know. Well, you guess. I'm going to guess 50 million. Well, I don't actually remember fully, so you still have to look it up, but I think it's 60 millions. Oh, it's fucking... It's 50. I win. Wow, really? Jeez. It is literally 50 million. I just looked it up. I inflated it in my mind. Apparently the they, they only made... 60, so you're right on the box office. Oh, really? Because when I looked that up, that was 25, so... They made it hmm. back? Yes! There's money uh, in, in pleasing children. They gotta make children. double back. I want that whole <laughs> cinematic universe, and they're gonna do it. Oh, man. L- let's talk about the most ridiculous complaints people had about the Emoji movie. Okay. What what about the product placement? Do you feel that that has a, a good place in it? It's a movie that takes place in a phone, so I would be more angry if they didn't feature apps in the movie. And exactly. I mean, it's, you have to do it because it's in a fucking phone. Like, what are you going to make up apps? Why would you do that? Just throw in Candy Crush. Who cares? You can imagine how retarded that would be if, ever, if anyone would. If they just had off brand versions of all the apps, that would be horrendous. <laughs> yeah. And then they'd be open to getting sued. Oh, would they be? I thought they'd be more open to being sued if they, they used the, the ones. But I guess they, they probably had deals in place. Yeah, they got deals for sure. Hey, so is, is that my emoji right there then? Oh, yeah. Anyways, you see that this is looking slightly better when it's small. I, I guess I, I, I somewhat succeeded in making an emoji, so it looks decent and small. doesn't look amazing great, but it's still pretty good. How did you like it? Yeah, it'll be a good emoji. I'll I'll throw it on my Discord right now. Sweet. Oh, yeah. 
And how about... Well, hey, thank, thank you for discussing the Emoji movie with me for so long. It means a lot to have another supporter on my side. I, I know you said you, you were glad to never hear about the Emoji movie again in your in your review. Did, yeah. Or did you just not want any negative reviews oh, I, of I, it? I, I didn't want to hear any negatives about it because it would have broke my heart that all these people couldn't understand the majesty of the Emoji movie. It, it's so sad. It's really sad. Out in some alternate dimension, amidst the unending cosmic particles of reality, there's a version of the Emoji Movie that's actually pretty good. This version still has Alex, it still has his phone, and it still has the Emoji people who live inside it in a tiny world. But in this version, Alex is kind of a bitchy little butt wipe. He's rude to his parents, he disrespects his teachers, and he's just wasting his adolescence in front of his phone. Maybe his grades start slipping, and maybe his relationship with his folks becomes more and more pugnacious. But instead of dealing with these things, he just looks at his phone, because it provides an escape for him. Oh yeah, this cheerful children's movie sure could be good if it was instead bleak and bullshit. Monkey business. <laughs> Did you have any children in your, in your cinema? Almost nothing but. It was all children. Oh, I guess it depends what time you go. I, I had not a single one, so did the children have fun? I think so. Well, there we go. That's that's all that matters. That's all I, that matters. There was one review that I, I watched, and they, they complained about the children being too noisy because they were enjoying the movie too much. <laughs> Can you believe Fuck it, off. these fucking reviewers going into a children movie, and then they're being pissed that the children are dancing and laughing at the movie? <laughs> oh my god. I only wanted me to enjoy this. Fuck those kids. <laughs> oh, yes. If only Terrible. it could all be so dark. If only. <laughs> all right. Well, always glad to hear from you. Oh, you bet. I'll be on any time you want me. Awesome. Well, subscribe to Mumpkey Jones and oh, oh! to me, Game Squid. Yeah, to Florian <laughs> Nightingale. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna.